an architecture for query optimization in sensor networks, a poster paper to be presented at ICDE 2008, written by Ishen Galpin, Kristen Brenningmeyer, Fran Jabin, Alvaro Fernandes and Norman Payton at the University of Manchester. The problem we're looking at is the problem of optimizing the evaluation of declarative queries over sensor networks. Sensor networks are a highly constrained platform which leads to challenges which are not present in the case of robust networks. We present an optimizer architecture for Sneakle, an expressive query language for querying acquisitional as well as classical streams. The optimizer architecture we present covers all the query optimization phases that are required to map a declarative query to executable code. The query stack we present is an extension of the classical two-phase optimization approach from distributed query processing. It is composed of a single site phase comprising the first three steps in grey boxes and a subsequent multi-site phase comprising the next four steps in which a distributed query plan is generated. The steps in the single site phase are similar to those in distributed query processing and not the focus of our research. However, the multi-site phase has been adapted. We introduce the routing step, an important consideration in sensor networks as the paths by which tuples travel can have a large impact on the cost of a query plan. The timing of tasks is also important in a sensor network as radio communications require coordination between nodes in the network, so we have introduced the when scheduling step. The steps in the multi-site phase are further described ahead. The final phase is code generation, which grounds the execution on the concrete software and hardware platforms available. Note that optimized decisions are informed by metadata, such as the network topology, resources on nodes such as memory available, and predictive cost models. Our application requirements are inspired by an environmental monitoring system which may be used by hydrologists interested in assessing the hydrodynamics of surface water drainage. We pose the Sneakle query shown against the sensor network whose topology is shown on the right hand side. Node 0 is the sink. Nodes 5, 6, 7 and 9 have river sensors and can measure rainfall and river depth. And node 4 is a hilltop sensor and can measure rainfall. The goal of this query is to obtain, every 15 minutes, time-stamped readings of the current rainfall and river depth and the rainfall at the hilltop 15 minutes previously, in cases where the rain at the hilltop is above a certain threshold. We are only interested in cases where it is currently raining less at the river than it was at the hilltop 15 minutes ago, to reduce the likelihood that any increase in river depth was caused by rain on the river itself. In the single site phase, the declarative query text is parsed into an internal form and type checked. The internal form is an abstract algebra based on the relational algebra. The algebra is enriched with windows on streams, which impose a definite cardinality on the inputs. This allows blocking operators such as joins to be well defined. The algorithm selection step gives rise to the physical algebraic form shown. The step determines a routing tree for communication links that the data flows in the physical algebraic form can then rely on. This is achieved by computing a signer tree, that is, a tree of minimal cost derived from the network topology graph with the required set of nodes, using any additional nodes which are necessary. The resulting routing tree is currently displayed. It consists of the source nodes for the river and hilltop streams, the sync node where the data is to be delivered, and nodes 2 and 3, which are used solely to relay results. Partitioning breaks up the physical algebraic form into fragments by inserting exchange operators, using semantic criteria such as attribute sensitivity and also identifying edges in the physical algebraic form with lower output sizes. As we can see, the query plan has been partitioned into four fragments, denoted F1 to F4. Where scheduling decides which query plan fragments are to run on which routing tree nodes. Fragments are placed with the aim to reduce the amount of data transmitted. This step results in the distributed algebraic form of the query, in which each fragment is allocated to a set of sites displayed next to the fragment identifier. When scheduling stipulates execution times for each fragment. An agenda is generated based on the acquisition rate and delivery time specified by the user, aiming to buffer as many tuples as possible prior to transmission. The agenda for the example query currently is displayed. In an agenda, there is a column for each site and a row for each time when a task is started. A task is either the evaluation of a fragment or a communications event, denoted by 
Tx or Rx. Note that in the example, leaf fragments F3 and F4 are repeated 36 times in each agenda evaluation, and that the agenda repeats every 9 hours. Such decisions are reached in light of the quality of service specified by the user. Code generation generates executable code for each site based on the distributed algebraic form, routing tree and agenda. The current implementation of Sneakle generates NestC code for execution in TinyOS, a component-based, event-driven runtime environment designed for wireless sensor networks. We have described the architecture of the Sneakle optimizer, a sensor network query optimizer based on the two-phase optimization architecture prevalent in distributed query processing. This approach offers several benefits, such as the ability to pose queries using a rich, expressive language based on classical stream query languages. Also, the ability to schedule different workloads to different sites in the network, enabling more economical use of resources such as memory, and potentially support for heterogeneity in the sensor network. And also, the ability to empower the user to trade off conflicting qualities of service such as network longevity and delivery time. We also compared well with TinyDB in an empirical evaluation. These benefits suggest that potentially, much can be learned from DQP optimizer architectures in the design of sense network optimizer architectures. Thank you for your attention. Please visit our website if you're interested in learning more about the query language and optimizer.